Okay, hey guys, so I figured since I was not able to finish out my Organizimus project like I had hoped, I thought I would do a video showing you my morning routine to help maintain the work that I did do over the several days that I did the Organizimus. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and show you guys what my morning routine is to keep my house maintained and organized. This is kind of the routine that I've fallen into in the last couple days and it seems to be really working. So I'm going to show you this app that I've shown before in a different video, but I'm going to show you how it's helping me because it really does help and keep you motivated. So let me just zoom in a little closer. Okay, so I have a more thorough video on my channel that shows how this works, but um, this is the basic gist. It's basically um, you have your all your rooms separated like this and then when you click into something this is not working very well I was trying to use this little pointer thing so it shows you what you need to do and like when it's due so like I'm gonna wipe down my counters empty trash do a quick dusting I'm gonna have my daughter vacuum when she gets home run dishwasher I don't need to do that's gonna be due in one day clean sink is due in one day so that kinda of thing okay so you can add more items if you want to as well you can add tasks so this basically, uh, what I can do here is go here and then hit to do by area. So this will basically show me where to start and what to do. And then when I'm finished, I click, well, I'll show you later as I do my chores, but um, I can click uh, just did it or whatever. So this app is really helpful in keeping you mindful of what you should be doing and it also lets you schedule like the days how many days you want to go by before you do something again so like the hot spot check I think I have set for maybe let's see if I can see okay I have it do uh, do every two days but I'm finding that I can actually even go longer with this routine um, I really don't even need to do it every two days, but it's good to just check. And if you don't know what hot spot check is, that's a fly lady term. I love that term that she has. It's like a spot where things tend to get messy or a lot of papers gather around like on your kitchen counter. That would be a hot spot that you need to kind of keep in check or it gets out of control. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, if you saw my video yesterday, I picked out all of my melts for this month. So I'm just digging right in and um, I'm going to go ahead and pick out my melts for the day. I also always grab a LaCroix. Those are really good, especially if you're trying to quit soda. That is a really excellent way to get like that carbonation feeling in your mouth. I, I don't know. I love the feel of carbonation going down my throat. I know that sounds really strange, but the LaCroix is like the perfect thing to substitute for soda if you're trying to cut down on your sugar. So. That's one thing I always grab. Also, I am still in my PJs. I do this in the morning when I'm still in my pajamas before I take a shower. So I'm totally rocking my uh, Sock Monkey Christmas PJs here. So just have to mind that. But I think in my daughter's room, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try out the Grinch from um, Vintage Chic Scents. And let's see. For my living room, I was going to do a Lake Providence Lodge. What was I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and go with apple pie for the living room. And then I have tinsel going in here from Haley's Heavenly Scents, and it is kicking some butt. I can smell it outside this room, which is the uh, computer room office. So I'm going to put that back. And then I still have stuff going in the kitchen. What am I going to put in my daughter's? bathroom. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I think we will start in, I think we'll start in my daughter's bedroom. So here we go. Okay. So for my daughter's bedroom, I have put shoes away, which is due today. Hot spot check, vacuum floor. Um, I don't have to dust. I might do a, like a quick little hand dust with the, um, the Swiffer duster. I don't need to wash bedding, but I do need to make her bed. I have that on my morning routine list. Let's see if we can check that out real quick. Morning routine. Yeah, is to make beds. So it is on there. So I always check morning routine and um, 
whatever room I'm in. So we will go ahead and we'll just do a little look. So obviously, okay, so obviously I need to make her bed and then she's got some stuff on the floor. So that's like kind of the hot spots. And um, like I said, I'm going to empty out her warmer and change it. And I don't think her laundry basket is very full. So let's see here. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. So like I said, I might just do a quick little dusting. I'm going to fix that little box of her hermit crab stuff. And um, so let's go ahead and start by making her bed. So bed is made and finished and we're moving on. Okay, so this is her little hermit crab area and I'm just gonna kind of clean it up just a little bit. Just make it look a little bit more organized. Put it all back there and that's it. So that was quick and easy. Okay, so this is the little hot spot here. Um, I just found this on the floor. So she probably took this out of her bag yesterday and didn't put it in the kitchen so that's going to go to the kitchen and then um this is like her little hot spot area with her shoes her slippers her build-a-bears on the floor and then her uh, dance bag i just need to clean out get the dirty clothes out and put them away and she's got her pajama bottoms on the floor there and then i just need to put a i see a book over here that let's see if i can move I see a book right there that doesn't belong there. So we'll get that cleaned up and here we go. Okay, so in my daughter's Scentsy right now, I have a front porch scoopable, which I did a little demo of the other day. What I'm going to do now is just take some um, cotton pads and stick them in there. And we're going to see how much they soak up. Might have needed to grab a little bit more. Yeah, this works better in the um, in the bathroom Scentsy plugins. I'm gonna actually go dump this and use a paper towel, but I'll be right back. Okay, so hot dumping might have been the better uh, route for that. Um, the cotton balls actually work better in the like I said the Scentsy bathroom plugin. So here we go with the Grinch, and as always. BCS is just so dang pretty with all the glitter. So this one is the Grinch. The Grinch and it is a cranberry orange Moscato, I believe. Cranberry orange Moscato. So we're going to see how that does. Um, the Porty, like I said in my other video, was 1119. So it's a little bit um, not cured all the way. But we're going to try it. I'm going to leave this in here because... Um, I might try to warm through the whole wax tart through the um, next couple days. So let's move on. Okay, so really quickly, the floor is cleaned up. I do see that I do need to vacuum. Uh, I see some little things on the floor, so I need to fix those slippers. And then um, I did get her bed made. Okay, so in just under five minutes, I pretty much got her room all taken care of. So I can do put shoes away. Just did it. Okay. Um, I did the hot spot check and got everything put away. I, I'm not going to vacuum the floor yet. Um, so that's everything for her room. So now we are going to move on to her bathroom. And we just need to wipe down counters, clean mirror. And that's it. Okay, so as I've shown before, this little turntable here with all of the cleaning supplies is, it helps me keep this room clean easier because I don't have to go run and find the cleaning supplies. They're all right here. So I keep the paper towels, the trash bags, and then all the cleaning supplies here ready to go. So let me go ahead and show you my routine for the bathroom.
basically what I do really quick in the toilet area is I just spray it down. Just take and wipe the top off. Wipe the handle. Get down here. Wipe the lid. And then I wipe the, um, I don't know if you can see that. I wipe the toilet bowl, I mean the toilet roll side. So that's that. Okay, so the first thing that I did was wipe down the counters. That got done, so just did it. I cleaned, uh, actually I didn't show cleaning the mirror, but I did clean the mirror. And then the tub and shower is due in four days, so that is it for Bob's bathroom. Okay, so now it's time to empty out the dishwasher. I'm just gonna show a little bit of that because that's not very interesting, but one thing that I like to do, I found my friend Sense and Sense, and she has a mid-month wax empties December 1st through 15th, which I'm gonna watch while I put the dishes away. So what I do is I just set this up on the counter or wherever, and um, it helps, I don't know, it just helps make the task not feel so boring, I guess. So I really enjoy watching YouTube or Netflix or listening to an audiobook while I'm doing something. The whole point is to make it feel like you're not doing something incredibly boring like dishes. So here we go. Okay, so I'm probably completely backwards in most people that they don't go to bed with a di uh, sink full of dishes, but I just find that I like to hang with my family. So I usually just load up some water in there and let them soak overnight and then I take care of them in the morning. It's just what works for me. I, you know, I clean up the counters and all that stuff. I just put the dishes in there and it seems to be fine. We've never had like a bug issue or anything like that. So. I know that that's not, everybody says go to sleep with a clean sink, but I like to do it in the morning because I like to spend time with my family. So this little setup here, <laughs> that is my friend. Um, I'm watching her video, so that's where I keep it so I can look up. You know, most people have a window that they can look out of while they're doing dishes, but um, my window is YouTube, so that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. I load a lot of them into the dishwasher. I just find that that's been working really well for me. I know you're not really supposed to put pots and pans in the dishwasher, but I do have a pots and pans setting on my on my dishwasher that I could use, but I just find that that works best for me because otherwise we do a lot of cooking from like non-processed stuff, so I use a lot of pots and pans and that can get to be very tedious. So let's go ahead and do some dishes. And also I did get my dishwasher emptied. I didn't film the whole thing because I didn't think it was that interesting, but anyways, here we go. Okay, so I just finished the dishes and rinsing and now I'm going to wipe down the counters with this Method All-Purpose Honeycrisp Apple. So usually what I do is I just give a good spray and then I spray the, um, the black splash, back splash as well. And I go ahead and just Wipe everything down. I wipe the uh, tops of these off. I wipe back here. This Honeycrisp apple smells really delicious. So I'm really excited that I was able to find that at Target. So 
So then I go ahead and just move to the other side. Spray the stove top down as well. I also try to get the black back. I don't know why I keep saying black. Backsplash as well. Okay, so the kitchen sink is done. Um, like I said, sometimes I wash, I have it scheduled to wash my sink like every three or four days with something really good like this scour off. I believe it's called, I believe it's from Shackley. I don't know how to pronounce it. I got it from actually the lady who runs the A Bowl Full of Lemons blog and it works amazing on just about everything. And now of course I can't get it open. But it's actually this paste and it's actually made from like I think cherry pits or almond cherry pits or something, but it is amazing. I love this stuff. I'm actually, this is my second can of it, but I wanted to show you guys this solution that I made up that I got from Clean My Space, who's a, a YouTuber who, um, obviously she shows you how to clean your space, but it's 50% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and 50% of distilled water or, you know, like water that's not just tap water. And what I do is I go in and I just spray these surfaces. And wipe them down and dry them. Just gives them a shine and it also disinfects. Whenever I have anybody come to my house, they always ask me what this is. And this is Demon in the Dark Soap by Lush. So everybody always says it looks so nasty, but that's how it's supposed to look, so. Don't be hating on my soap. I actually don't think they make that anymore. I think that's like the end of the Demon in the Dark soap. But anyways, and then I always kind of dry back here. So that's that. So that's my, uh, my sink is all done and I'm gonna show you guys a hot spot area over here. So this is what Fly Lady refers to as a hot spot is this mail. And I got a Lush package the other day that I need to put this stuff away. So basically I'm just gonna take the papers and shred them and then put the Lush stuff away and then I can wipe down the counter. Okay, so that got all cleaned up. There's a lot of glitter from that Lush um, Snow Angel I think it's like a bath melt slash bath bomb type thing. And uh, there's a lot of glitter on there. So I just wiped down my counter is really good. Okay, so the Method Honeycrisp Apple smells amazing. I love, love, love the scent of that. Okay, so I just did the wipe down counter. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera here. I'm trying to kind of jimmy rig it. So I just did it. And then I'm going to empty the trash right now. I don't need to show you that because... And then um, I don't need to dust because I just did that the other day. So just did that. And then my daughter's gonna vacuum the floor and that is it for the kitchen. So let's see where we need to go next. Let's see what we need to do in the living room. Just a basic dust and it doesn't say vacuum floor but we'll probably vacuum today since I'm gonna have my daughter pull out the vacuum and do a little bit of vacuuming. And let's see, an office. It really helps just to keep maintenance. Um, I just shredded. I just put that mail and I put it on the shredder in the shredder. Um, and that is it. I just need to vacuum in there and shred, which I just did. So I can get rid of that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you in the living room really quick and just show you how quick and easy you can get stuff done. Okay, so one of the first things I do in here is I 
fold up my blanket. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. So I just wanted to talk while I'm folding these up really quick. The one thing that has really helped me after doing the organizements is keeping things maintenance. Like doing these little chores every day just makes a huge difference in, you know, basically doing all that work that I did. It's basically helping me keep it maintained. And when you only have to spend an hour cleaning your house a day, it is a lot different than trying to do everything all at once. Now we do have animals, so I do try to vacuum on a pretty frequent basis because we have a dog and a cat and they both shed like crazy. So I keep a lot of lint rollers around to lint roll things and that kind of fun stuff. So, let me see. so this is probably taking me about everything that you've seen is probably taking me a couple, like an hour. It's taken me probably a little bit of longer because I'm filming, but you know, whatever. Um, so the only other thing that I need to do is our cat likes to lay right there. So I need to fluff that and take the vacuum cleaner and then I'm just going to do a fluff of the couch and just vacuum. Okay, so this is my shark vacuum cleaner, which I am in love with. When I was looking for a new vacuum cleaner, a lot of people had said, you know, um, you know we're comparing the Dyson and the shark. And a lot of people had said the better bang for your buck was the shark. So this attachment came with it. And this is like a for furniture and whatnot. And um, just got a roller. It's probably got a lot of hair on it, but just ignore that. So it's just showing that it's being used. But um, let me just show you really quick how well it works. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but this is where the cat lays. So this is the before. Uh, before I vacuumed it and then I'm going to show you the after. Okay, so it's still a little sad looking because the cat has put a permanent dent in the couch there where she lays, but that's fine. But um, most of the hair is off. I did take a lint roller and just get a little bit more because it's been a while since it's been clean. So, but that's about it, you guys. So the shark is amazing and I think that's the end of my routine. I Like I said, the Toddy app, T-O-D-Y, is amazing. I love it. It helps keep you, you know, organized and it helps you know, like, you can go and do, like, to-do by area on any certain day and you can see exactly what you need to do. I think I might have shown this at the beginning. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and it gave you some tips, maybe, and helps you establish a routine. I can't say it enough, but maintenance and a routine is so important because I never feel like I have to clean for like an entire day. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later.